guys ready? Yeah. You got the whole world. Indians dance, we got the whole world. Indians dance, we got the whole world. Indians dance, we got the whole world. We got you and me, brother. You and me, brother. Indians dance, we got you and me, brother. Indians dance, we got you and me, brother. In the beginning, there was absolutely nothing to see. No earth, no stars, no animals, no light. There was only God. God then decided to create a beautiful world to display His goodness and splendor. He just spoke the words and it came to be. Vast craggy mountains, soaring beautiful trees, crystal lakes and winding rivers, animals of every variety. He placed a massive sun in the sky, warming the earth during the day, and a moon to lighten the night. It was a breathtakingly beautiful creation. But God was getting ready for his greatest act yet, making man. He planned to make man special, not like the animals, but more in the image of God himself. So he took a bit of clay from the earth and formed man, and breathed life into him. There was man, created in the image of God, and God called him Adam. God made Adam like himself, with a mind, with creativity, with wonder, with emotions, and he made him to be happy. Adam learned about all the animals. He played with them and gave them each names, but something was missing from Adam's life. You would think he had it all, but he was missing a human friend, a wife. God made a woman, too. He put Adam to sleep, carefully took one of Adam's ribs, and formed a woman. Now there were two. They were made for each other, to love each other, to keep each other company, and to enjoy this beautiful world and worship God. Life in the garden was beautiful and blissful. It was, quite truly, paradise. Adam and Eve had no worries. God had created them. He took care of them. The animals were peaceful and kind. Adam and Eve had all the food they wanted. They saw beauty wherever they turned. They only had one rule to obey. Don't eat from the tree that stood in the middle of the Garden of Eden. That was God's only request. On the sixth day of creation, God looked at everything He had made and said it was good. 
on the seventh day of creation, God rested from all his work. Creation was beautiful, and man was in perfect harmony with God. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Kids Kingdom Craft Time. Now, let's show you the lesson. On the first day, God separated light from the darkness. Let there be light! On the second day, God made the sky and the water. On the third day, God created land and plants. Let's see what God made on the fourth day. He made a star, stars, and a sun and a moon. <laughs> I wonder what happened on the fifth day. Let's go check it out. God created the fish and the bird. On the sixth day, God made the animals and the man. Whoa! He has a lot of power. On the seventh day, God rested. Z. For today's craft, we're going to make a creation book. What you'll need is printouts, crayons, staplers, and scissors. Time to cut our pictures.
Now I'm done coloring. Now we're gonna cut out the pages. Yay. I'm gonna do my thesis that I always do in my school when I cut. I'm done. Right. Now I'm done. You guys two more left. Now I'm all done. Now we have all of our pages cut out. Now you have to put them in order starting with our cover page. Done. Now we're gonna staple our book. You might need an adult's help. Thank you. Now we're done.